Hi guys, hope you all are doing well. Uh, it is Saturday and I thought I would bring you outside for a little bit. <laughs> Today, I just wanted to read a few scriptures from Ezekiel. And it's something that I feel, me personally, I feel is important for all of us. Okay? So I hope you listen to these words carefully. We are going to look at Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 18 through 21. Okay? It says, When I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked of his wicked ways, to save his life, that same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood I will require at your hand. I'm going to stop right there for a second. This is talking about watchmen and watchwomen, which we all should be. We all should be given warning of, you know, of, um, if I, well, I'll get into that here in a second. But I see so many people on YouTube saying that they're watchmen or watchwomen, uh, which is all fine because we all should be that. But I see them giving no warning of what I'm about to read. Listen carefully. It says, if you, if, yet if you warn the wicked and he does not turn from his wickedness nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity but you have delivered your soul. Again, when a righteous man turns from his righteousness and commits iniquity, remember, iniquity means sin. So when a righteous man turns from his righteousness and commits iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him. He shall die. Because you did not warn him, he shall die in his sin. Remember, iniquity is sin. And his righteousness, which he has done, shall not be remembered. I'm going to stop right there. Well, let me go ahead and read the rest of this. It says, but his blood... I will require of your hands. So, righteous, a righteous man. I looked this up. I wanted to be exactly sure. A righteous man is a person who is obeying God, but doing by doing what is right, but fell into sin, and God took his life in chast chastisement. So, uh, a righteous man is a person who is obeying God and doing what is right. So, let me read this again. When a righteous man, one that's obeying God and doing what's right, believes in God, following God, turns from his righteousness and commits iniquity, sin, one who goes out and sins, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because you did not warn him, he shall die in his sin. And his righteousness, which he has done, shall not be remembered. So everything that he has done, um, prophesying like they do on, on YouTube, watchmen, watch women. Oh, this is going to happen. I hear a lot now. Oh, some, this is going to happen on the 24th. This is going to happen on the 24th. Okay? Whatever the case may be. Uh, Everything that they have done for God. Everything. It says, His righteousness, uh, or His righteousness, which He has done, shall not be remembered. God won't remember it no more. He died in that sin. His blood I will require of your hands. Nevertheless, if you warn the righteous man that the righteous, the one living for God, should not sin. What have I been saying? If you live right, you shouldn't be sinning. 
No willful sin, guys. No willful sin. Nevertheless, if you warn the righteous man that the righteous should not sin, and he does not sin, he shall surely live because he took warning. Also, you will have delivered your soul. So, this is a righteous man who was doing good for God, but he fell into sin, and God took his life in chastisement. The stumbling block is a stone of judgment that kills. Psalms chapter 119 verse 165 says, Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. So, it just gives us something to think about. Something to think about today on this Saturday. Beautiful Saturday. It's not really hot. Thank God. <laughs> but it's a beautiful Saturday. And it gives us something to think about. Because it says, it says, a righteous man should not sin. Let me get the exact verse. Verse 21, it's Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 21. Nevertheless, if you warn the righteous man that the righteous should not sin. Shouldn't be sinning, guys. I, I hear people say all the time, well, everybody sins. Everybody sins. And I've heard watch men and watch women say, which really blows my mind. You're forgiven for all your past, present, and future sins. But yet here in Ezekiel, it says a righteous man shouldn't be sinning. Are we going to make mistakes? Yes. Uh, I pray every day that the Lord keeps me from presumptuous sins, which is sins that I don't realize that I'm doing. That, yeah, we will get be guilty of. Before you go to bed every night, guys, pray the Lord forgives you. Pray constantly all day long because you never know when you're going to do something that may not be right in God's eyes that you're not aware of it just yet. God's word is so important to read scripture. God's word tells us what he likes, what he dislikes, what he considers sin and what he doesn't consider sin. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, what he considers sin. You have the, if you have God, you have the Holy Spirit. It's that little voice that tells you when the enemy puts something in your head. It's that little voice that tells you, you hear, don't do that. Don't do that. It's that still small voice. Okay. But I love you guys. I hope you all will read this for yourself. Like I said, don't take nobody's word for anything, not even mine. Read this for yourself. I will post the scripture. It'll be here or here. <laughs> I will post the scripture. It's Ezekiel chapter 3 verses, oh, I think I read 18 through 21 to you. Read these for yourself. Open your Bible. Read it for yourself. Okay? Tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me your opinion of the scripture. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. Anyway, give me, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you feel. <laughs> uh, like, share, and subscribe. Join me on the Disciple Server. Link is in the description. And if I don't see you in the next video, I hope one day to see you in them clouds with Jesus. Love you guys. Bye.